Residents of Bartica and the surrounding communities in Kayuni Mazaruni will soon benefit from improved power supply as the construction of a 3.3 megawatts power station is closer to realization. Renata LaFleur has the details. During a recent meeting with regional officials, Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson explained that large sums have already been expended on most of the equipment which have already arrived. The Civil Works is three hundred and eight point eight million dollars. That's for the building, the foundation, the house, new building, and the jetty. The cost for the for the mechanical electrical work is fifty four point two million dollars. Cost so far is one point four one million U.S. dollars. I'm um, expected to date. Um, the, there's some other minor courses which I can, which will be um, clearing land acquisition and those things like that, or a bit of roads and groundings and those things like that. According to project engineer Julian Reddy, the scope of the project includes a structure to house the three generators, the control room, facilities for employees, a fuel wharf to facilitate the delivery of fuel directly to the plant via a boat, among others. He provided an update on the project's status. Um, we started some works in town which would procure materials and the steel structure will be fabricated in um, Georgetown, so that has already started. Um, in addition to the building and civil works, we have a mechanical contractor, which is um, Yan Engineering. The civil works will be undertaken by Geico Construction and Engineering Services. So Yan Engineering would be responsible for the installation of the switch gears, construction of um, the fuel lines and stuff. So both projects, both um, contractors, the work will be running in um, tandem. The current power plant has outlived its life cycle and causes noise pollution. Renette on the floor for InfoHub.